Hello, and welcome back to Trick and Treat. So last time, I finally managed to get into the kitchen, and though I got lost briefly, I got unlost, and now I have an invitation, so presumably, we can go to other parts of the house. I'm not sure why I'm in this room. Maybe we can go upstairs now? Yeah, I'd like to go upstairs. What is your room number? Okay. Force field. The guest to room 259. Oh. So I can go through there. Tried to type and I stopped myself. So you have to actually use the up and down keys to enter the numbers. I'm very sleepy, but I can't sleep. Not now. What if I forget everything after falling asleep? What if I can't wake up again? Maybe Miss Charlotte went upstairs. This house is really weird. I'll say. <laughs> Candy. That blew up in my face. Oh, my save point. So yeah, we have a whole new area to explore. Okay, that was a scream. That's weird. Okay, ooh, more barrels. <laughs> Up barrel, then Z. That also blew up in my face. And that one was empty. Okay, so we have a set of stairs going up. A hallway. A door. Another door. And the second set of stairs. And another hallway. Hmm. We might as well check these doors out. Have you found it? No. What was that? Going in? No. Yeah, it's about how I feel too, Amelia. <laughs> Just no comment. <clears throat> Ooh, this room is cool. Oh, and there's so many sparklies. Some newspaper scraps. In a detective novel. 2009-817. Robberies and murders. Please stay alert. A witness has reported the culprits appear to be two men. The younger man acted farmingly and led the victims on, while the older man showed ruthlessness and talent of weaponry. Okay, that's all of that. Telescope. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Between the books. Tabloid? 1960-something. The missing prince. The prince was nowhere to be found after the ball last week. The rumor said the prince eloped with a secret lover, while some believed it was because his girlfriend broke up with him. However, it may be a murder. The missing servant was considered as a suspect. Hmm. That backstory or just to freak me out? <laughs> Maybe both. This house is cursed. Mm, yeah, I definitely gave off that kind of vibe. Who will be happy? The monsters who live inside or the guests who step inside? Probably not the guests.
There's a green book inside, with a mouth on its cover. It looks like it's trying to say something. Um, yeah, no, I'm not gonna mess with weird things like that. And this is the black book that seems to be breathing. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Go away. Is, is this book talking? Yeah, I'm not gonna release that one either. I mean, Doc really just told me to go away. I think I'm gonna respect its wishes. Because it looks just like bad news. <laughs> it's just black and red and evil all over. Really nice library, though. Selves. There are many books on the selves. Close enough. <laughs> Okay, I can't shove any of those. Just checking. You never know when a random puzzle will show up. Especially in these games. Okay. So other than just releasing the books and seeing what happens, nothing in the library. What's on the other side of this new and fascinating area? It won't open. Okay. Hmm. Well, I haven't found... Well, I did find newspaper clippings, but I'm not sure if that counts. Hmm. No, it's not my book. Oh, so I need a book. So one of those is going to not kill me. The other probably is. Um, yes? Oh! What the... what the heck? Um... Let's dance. Uh, no thanks. Looks to be... those are red shoes and there's red footprints everywhere. I mean, I know both of the fairy tale that name and of the ones from the witch's house, so I doubt I want to be anywhere near you. My shoes are gone. So are my feet. I can't dance anymore. Could you please find them for me? Do I have to? <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much to be expected from the red shoes. Hi, Handprint. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times I see you in this game or in playthroughs of any other game, you always manage to get me. Yeah, that sounds like it, but I'm not a very loud and obnoxious person by nature, so... Trust me, the outside's like, oh, what's that? And this is like, oh, what's that? <laughs> I think those shoes were running downstairs. Well, let's save and go chase after them. And maybe we finally might find Charlotte. That doesn't lead downstairs. Why am I walking there? <laughs> Arrows. That sounds like an event. Shoes. Oh, I just got the invitation burst into fire. I lost the invitation. Ah, our second thought. There wasn't a room 259. I may have just screwed up. I hope not. But I mean, I'm pretty sure getting set on fire is not a good thing. <laughs> no shoes here. I'll just leave the angry invisible ghost to their business. Are you in here, shoes? No. No, I have to give Amelia credit. <laughs> I mean, most people would have run out of here screaming by now, and just let Charlotte to whatever. But I mean, she's chasing after weird shoes, just for the chance of finding her friend. I won't let them run away this time. <laughs> I 
I think we already have. Oh wait, no. Yes, here you are. Ow! These shoes are pretty weird. Was there something at the end of the corridor? Crack on the wall. It looks like a hidden door. Uh... No thank you. Oh come on. I like this area. Yeah, any doubts I had about this not living up to reputations of some of the bigger games are kind of gone now. Help. Help me. Yay! <laughs> we found the dungeon. Oh god, that's a gallows. And you're stained with blood. Of course you are. <laughs> I'm so happy to have this room in my life right now. That's locked too. Break. Please have a key. Oh, come on. Candy's not gonna help me in this scenario. An old book full of red stains. This music's unnerving too. Maybe it's up on here? Uh, oh crud. A gallows. Oh! Don't play in dangerous places! Yeah, no kidding. That was stupid. I saw the time in the corner. I should have known better. Well, that's the second time I've managed to die from stupid. <laughs> I'm an idiot! <laughs> Okay, that did weirdness. And so that. Well, great. Okay, let's save. The red stains on the blade seem to be unable to clean. That's a bit of a weird sense. Let's think. Okay, the text doesn't help. Key. There isn't anything there, though. Okay, I have the doll's feet in the red shoes, the flashlight, a locket, and a blue potion they may have to consider taking soon. And nothing will open for me. Hmm. There was a cage hanging from the ceiling. The size is not for a bird. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll try this since we don't appear to have too many other options. Okay, we can't. I'm not sure whether I should be relieved or frustrated because we're probably trapped here forever now then. It's locked. Does the stretcher have any keys on it? Yes! Huh! I got it. Now I'm just going to get out of here. Because I don't like this room. There's more! Dang it. Why did I check the corridor? Why did I think that was a good idea? Paint everything red, red, red. Candy. Well, it's good at this point. 
Rose was charming, lovely, beautiful. I guess we found the crazy guy lair. Fantastic. I think I'm gonna go back and save before I grab that item. Because I see something or someone up there. And I don't want it chasing me. And then half degree do looking at the floor and grabbing the key. Okay. And it shifts around. Should I better remember? Because this is well, if there's any area in this game of chasers, I'm more than willing to bet this is it. A red pool. Okay, there is a shiny down there, but either it's just to inform us of that lovely fact, or it's just there to keep us out. Coffins! Oh, the vampire has to sleep somewhere, I guess. I got a doll head. Why do I want a doll head? Blonde hair and green eyes. Oh. Okay. Yay. Mm, I can probably go a little longer. I don't want to screw up and have to start all over again because I took the potion too early. Truth is hidden in the wall. Throw a coin into the pool and make a wish. It's a commonly seen tradition in many places. It's empty. Thirteen candy. An unlucky number. The cask of Amontillado. You opened me a door, I guess. I guess this is better. Skeletons. Yeah, I guess we're in catacombs as opposed to dungeon. Oh, I love these kinds of puzzles. Might take me a while though, because if you try to rush these things, you usually get it horribly wrong, and then feel stupid when you get it right eventually. When the murderer tells the lie, who is among the free? You don't have to kill the clown because he was already dead. Okay. Good thing we have lined paper nearby. Okay, P. C is dead. I personally am not willing to really trust any of them, but something's got to give. C didn't kill anyone. Skeleton says he was the victim. Okay. So now I just have to figure out inconsistencies. Now we'll back to the pumpkin. I don't have to kill the clown because suppose this you say that the clown was already dead. And you say that you were the victim. You say you didn't kill anyone. Hmm. Maybe I should go back and save. Well, if he was dead, he wouldn't be able to kill anyone. Right, if he didn't kill anyone, then the skeleton couldn't be the victim? Hmm. Okay, if you're right, um, I just want to check. I just remember that there's no way to see me point. Okay, if the pumpkin is right, then the skeleton can't be the victim, because the clown would be dead in the victim. If the clown is right, then he didn't kill anyone, though he's not necessarily the victim either. And if the skeleton is right, then he's the victim, but that leaves two possible killers. Hmm. Let's just reread the paper. There's only one liar. So what's least likely to be true? Doesn't help that two of them are already things you'd expect to be murderous, 
but we also expect to possibly be inverted for being murderous. I mean, we've got a clown and a reaper looking dude. And they're both very suspicious. And then I go, do you want to suspect the pumpkin guy? Okay. If the clown is dead, there would be either P or S. If S is the victim, then C lies. And P probably would have to be a liar too. So the skeleton might not be right. If he didn't kill anyone, then P and S could both be true. Hmm. It's down between the clown and the skeleton. I'm going to save in case I die horribly for guessing wrong. Nice background music though. I mean, it's not complicated, but it's definitely a good mood setter. Hmm. I wonder if I can go back to the doll just to see if I can. Or if I'm still locked in. Okay. I'm still trapped in this hallway of nightmares and dungeon gear and truth teller puzzles. Yay! Okay. So it wants me to find the one who tells the lie. Hmm. 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 How much time have I wasted trying to figure this out? Okay, better just pick one already. Okay. So if C didn't hurt anyone, then both the other guys would be true. If P is right, then C is probably also right, and S is wrong. He wants the one who's got to be telling the lie. As to the victim, then both the other guys are wrong. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for the skeleton. How do I choose one, though? Oh, who is lying? Oh, it's a yellow team. Oh, yay. Oh, my figure's a skeleton. Something fell from the skull. Got a silk heart. What's that? Did I do it right? The words disappeared. So much laughter. I don't know if I guessed right. <laughs> well, it's a bit late for that. I know, I'll just save an alternate version of this, so I'll have a chance that that gets me some sort of less good ending. I can try again. <laughs> just a precaution. I'll just put it way down low, where I won't accidentally go over it. Or maybe I should have done that before I chose. Oh well. Oh uh, yeah. We guillotine the guy. Hey, Mir. Oh, Charlotte! It's been a while since we last saw you. Where is she? The house is too big. We like to get lost in our own place. Is she alright? Hmm, she's in a place that's all blue tiles. Where am I? Huh? Oh, that's just a mirror. Pfft. Me getting all scared for nothing.
The mirrors will tell you the dark secret hidden in this house. Once upon a time, there was a prince who was gentle and handsome and loved by everyone. Flattery from the ministers, infatuation from the ladies, made him wonder, what do they really care about? What is true love? Hmm. I think this might be close to the end. In which case, I should probably go back and save, and leave this for another time, because this episode's beginning pretty long. Oh, I can't go back. Well, it's just going to be the longest episode, I guess. It's a mirror. Of course, if you didn't have the appearance, if you didn't have this title, who would come to your party or stay by your side? She knows this confusion, and said with a smile, Love is a curse. People lost their mind and manners for it. Became moody, pathetic, ridiculous creatures. The ones looking for true love are the most absurd. Yet they deserve happiness the most. I can help you find it. <laughs> Creepy little laugh. Solid wall. Hmm. Oh, flashlight. Smear. Does the master of this house use it too? Oh! Looks like I'm on a different floor now. Such a huge house. I have to make sure to bring those feet back. Yeah, I always wondered about those myself. Hmm, save point. I like a save point. <laughs> Stay upstairs part of here. Hmm. Let's check. Well, let's give those feet back. And then end this. Yes. Oh. Wrong door. Hey doll, I have your feet. Thank you. Put the feet back on the doll. Yay! I don't know what that did for me, but yeah. The doll doesn't move anymore. Um, did I accidentally kill her? I hope not. We already purposefully killed that skeleton, which may not have been the right choice. Do you love strawberry jam? Yes. <laughs> Evening dress. Coat. Okay, nothing of interest left in this room. I still have the red shoes for some reason, though. Probably shouldn't mess with those, though. I mean, they're clearly bad juju and all that. Well, that's all for this part today. So yeah, I thought it was at the end, but nope. We still have like another floor, and probably the other half of this hallway to get through. Now yeah, things are getting interesting. And as you may have noticed, I do not like the dungeon area. But I'm probably never gonna have to step foot there again. But there will probably be something worse. Cause that's what all these games are about. <laughs> so yeah, that's all for this part. I hope to see you in the next video. So, bye for now.